Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So today it's just a very quick tip if you want to for some reason charge a mobile phone battery with a regular bench power supply. Uh, you'll have to connect to these pads somehow. If you took this out of for example a scrapped phone you probably don't have anything to plug it into. You can if you're careful solder wires to these pads and then just use some alligator clips but Maybe you can't do that for whatever reason, maybe you need to reuse the battery in another phone or something like that, but you want to keep it charged so it doesn't uh, die on itself. So there is not much to it really, it's uh, very simple, but it can be quite useful. Uh, what I do is I take some of these solid core uh, wires, and I just bent the end over so it's a little more solid, uh, two of those. And then I simply just uh, tape it to the bench using electrical tape. And if we look at the battery, usually they put the uh, polarity on the uh, sticker or the case or something. Else you can just uh, measure it with a multimeter. But you might come across some that is uh, protected, like the laptop battery that I showed in a previous video. Um, but usually they are not. Uh, I've used a few of these and none of them have been protected so you know we can see the voltage on the terminals uh, at any time. But just something to keep in mind if you can't seem to get any reading maybe you have to pull one of the other pins low or something like that. Anyway the negative, let's just flip it, the negative is to this side. And we'll just lift the end off the table a little bit and put some tape on it. And uh, the key is not to get the, the tape to stretch too much over the wire, else it will kind of lift off and uh, get loose over time. If you want to charge it for an hour, then this will probably get loose and the wire can slip away from the battery. So you just want to keep it as uh, close to the wire as possible. What I mean is if you stretch it like this, for example, it will, it will pop off and you'll lose the connection. So now we just hook up the power supply. And if we set it to 4.19 volt, or something like that, and let's set the current to, uh, let's say, just 0 0.5 amps, like that, and then we can uh, enable the output. Oops. Now we just uh, slide the battery onto the two connectors there and place something heavy on top. And it should make a fairly good connection. I mean it's not perfect but at least you can charge it this way without having to sit there and, and hold the wires yourself. <laughs> and we can see the battery is slowly charging. So that's how you can charge a battery without having a battery holder or charger for it. Uh, you should probably stick around, you know, just to make sure nothing shorts out and starts a fire or something like that. And you also don't want to apply too much pressure uh, to the wires because they can easily slide out of the tape or the tape can lift off the tape, of course. But I'm sure you get the point. I know this is quite obvious, but if you like the idea anyway, please give it the thumbs up. And thanks for watching this video. See ya!